Hello everyone, my name is Jordan Steele, recent graduate from Humber College. This is the Humber Shield. This is a device made using the Arduino Uno, a microcontroller board based on the ATmega328 microchip. It's been modified by Humber to simulate a microwave controller. I first worked on this a few years ago, but I recently decided to open it up again and fix some bugs, add some features, and really make it mine. We're going to press the reset button to restart the program. But we're also going to open PuTTY to allow for serial communication. Right now it's in the start state because I just turned it on. The microwave simulator has four states, the idle state, the cook state, the data entry state, and the suspend state. The microwave simulator can be set up 10 seconds or down 10 seconds with a lower limit of one second. It can also go up by a minute and down a minute, again with that limit. And I can hold it to go to the upper limit, but I'm going to turn off the beeping just because it's very noisy. And there's the upper limit of 59 minutes and 59 seconds. So now let's test some of the functionality. Here we can press down the joystick in order to start the heater and we can press down again to suspend it. I've implemented some code where if you hold down the joystick it's not switching from one state to another. We also have this latch which simulates the door opening. You cannot make the time go up or down while the door is open. But the moment we turn it off and the door lights also turned off, we can press this again in order to start our heater again. He also has this rotary motor, which is rotating as you can see. I'm not just doing this with my finger. <laughs> and at any time we can press the cancel button to stop the entire thing. I forgot to mention that while the door is open, the heater light and the timer can't be triggered. While we were recording this, I was reminded that the power source matters a lot. The microwave simulator was malfunctioning when it was plugged into my computer, but when it was plugged into the wall outlet, it was the strongest it's ever been. You can tell just by how loud the servo motor is. Let's just go to 10 seconds and let the time go down. And you can hear the beeper of the microwave once the time reaches zero. and it will automatically go to the idle state yet again. This is a project that I've worked on when I was in Humber Polytech. I've added a few things to make it really my own. Things like the upper and lower limits and going up 60 seconds at a time. That was a really important thing for me. I've also added functionality for the beeper to turn on or off whenever the time is changed here, just as a little uh, cosmetic thing, as well as delaying the amount of time that it takes for the time increments. It used to be a whole second, but I changed it to be much faster. Because in a world like this, you want to have that speed, you want to have that flexibility, you want to have that efficiency. And these are the kinds of things that I thought of when I was continuing this project. Thanks again for watching my presentation on the Humber Shield. It was a lot more fun than I thought it would be, figuring things out and adding my own features into this. This is one of the projects that I've taken from school and transitioned into something I've actively worked on myself. So I felt a huge sense of pride when I finally got everything working exactly how I wanted it to. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.